Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and today it's time for another episode of Kenji. In between the episodes, I played for multiple hours and I spared you a lot of agony, let me tell you. However, I learned more about the game and I will be able to show you exciting expeditions in the future. Before we get this started, let me update you on the list of mods. I added two new mods I'm really interested in, Recruit Prisoners and Tame Beasties. As you might or might not know, I want to expand my squad to above 200 people. And after feeling it will become very lame to always check the bars and just recruit them the regular way. Last but not least, I added a in-game bow map, so I actually know what I'm talking about. Because right now I was just saying over here and up there and to the left of whatever. And now we can actually really see all of the biomes. It is a little bit confusing, but it allows us to get a much better idea. Another thing that I did is I researched a lot. For instance, I got now the sake still and the rum still. However, we cannot grow cactus or rice wheat at this particular moment. The biggest thing I did in between the episodes is I discovered a whole lot of things. For instance, I started my expedition right here at the Drowned Bruins, where I found a salesperson with epic, epic gear. For instance, we have now Marco with a masterwork grade samurai armor. And I actually stole that one. However, other things I had to purchase, for instance, for night, I purchased the masterwork grade mercenary plate. Anyways, back to the map. The most important thing I did is I went north and I actually started here in the north in the suspicious lab. And this is a great place we have to visit. I pissed off a couple of cannibals over there. I, I just didn't realize there were cannibals and there are a lot, like 50 or even more. So that's going to be fun to mess up. They're not very strong, but I suspect they have more books for me. I then went down south to the Burns Tower and I actually didn't get what I wanted from here. I don't think so. I think I just ignored that for some reason. But I discovered a whole bunch of other things here where I found the very much needed engineering research. After all of this, after hours of exploring, I went back and... Oh, no, I actually went to the world's end still in order to get some more science books. But then I went back and all I received from that was four science books and for engineering research. So yeah, it's it's a little bit disappointing, but I made good use of it, so what I discovered in the technology was worth it a lot. Namely, I discovered technology 4, which in return unlocked a whole bunch of new things. But more importantly, within the crafting section, I finally, finally got the heavy armor smithy, and we also got the plate beating station here. Hudson is already working on it. That was a very important step to me. Now I'm all out of books again. I also stole a bunch of these unique books. I'm not sure what they're for. Maybe let me know in the comment section if I can do anything with them. That was a lot of things to catch up on and it is not done yet because I disbanded the copper mine. The group still exists, but as you can see, they are now here at the base. I decided that we now have other means of making money However, I'm also not happy with my current base location and my base infrastructure. We now have crazy things like the snail house or the station house. Uh, hold on. There we go. The station house. We have a step house, etc, etc. You can see we have a lot more options right now. So Pack is going to grab a whole bunch of building materials. Actually, as many as he can. We now have 10 left. Let me actually assign Madara a couple of jobs. I want you to take care of these three machines, help out Juan. Now to map out the base, I probably only need gates and defensive walls, for which I only need building materials. We probably want to fill up Bully too, and that means we can already maybe lay out the base, build the wall, and kind of get an idea how we want to relocate. I actually built a new feeding trough right here and now that we have way too much food so we are basically storing all the food right here and then it's full. So Bounty brings everything to the feeding trough but the catch is also humans eat from the feeding trough and that just messes up everything. Did I already mention that we are now also distilling the hemp to get some fuel? So that is definitely something we need to include in our profit making strategy. But right now we have the 300,000 cats in order to relocate without worrying about stuff. So that's why I think it's, it's a really good time. 
Also, declaring war on the Holy Nation while being in their territory might not be the most convenient thing. There we go. The three adventurers are... <laughs> wow, this looks pretty great with the planets. I love it. This is actually not Earth. This is a fantasy universe. Anyways, where do we want to settle down? I figured somewhere between the border zone and the vein. So we will have the best of both worlds. We're not gonna have uh, as much crop yield as right now. But we will be able to grow cacti and also rice, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe against this mountain could be good, but I'm not really where I want to be. We need to be around here. Let's just go ahead and explore over there. All right, I think this is much better. We're gonna build against this mountain, provided there are enough raw resources. But it's looking good. I can already see a copper vein and it has 40% efficiency. That is actually pretty good for one person. The terrain is not extremely even and there is a lot of trees in the way. So we could theoretically build a gate here, then have a pathway lead through here, build another gate to get out, but then build a third gate to get into the inner sanctum where the public isn't allowed. Good, let's take Nathan and do a little bit of prospecting. I wanna see, water shouldn't be a problem. Fertility, 100%, not for everything probably. Stone, we will find certain spots. So let's check out the building menu. I actually also unlocked the ore mine that would allow me to place that shebang around here somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to find spots, but it is possible. Then the stone mine, can I get 100% out of the stone mine? Yes, okay, that would also work. What about the farms? We have 100% yield from cacti, then we have cotton, which is only 10%, and that's why I wanted two biomes, because, hmm, it's still 10% here. I thought that might actually change. Oh yeah, look, it does change. So here it is 10% and right here it is 46%. That is perfect. Like we can have our fields somewhere here on the border and just place it at the correct location. For instance, hemp, we have 50% here, but 86% here. Then veggies, the same thing, 46%. It's still good. We just have to build more veggie farms. The wheat is also 70%. That's not bad. The only problem is the vegetation. It needs to go. But basically now we have an idea what we want to include. We want to start the wall right here, go beyond... Where's the iron vein? Up here. We want to go beyond here. Then just probably join with the mountain. I don't assume anyone can go up here. I will have to test that. And then we can start another wall from this mountain, including a little bit of this baum. I think I got it. The only thing we will have to fight for is building space. All right, guys, this is going to be a huge project. We can also see right here, we have no possibility to actually... Oh, maybe actually we do. <gasps> I will have to wall this off as well. Otherwise, they can come from here. Well, we will find a way. Paki and Bully, you go into sneak mode. And Nathan, you need to come over here so we can build properly. Okay, I want to start with my first gate here somehow. And we need to tilt this so it's more or less straight. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's it's Kenshi. Buildings are wonky. The arrows are also pointing into the right direction, so that is already good. Now we just need to make sure we somehow can get up here. Yeah, we might have to do some trickery. I mean, this doesn't look secure anymore. <gasps> oh no! We are too close to another town here. W what town? Oh, that could become an issue. If I'm lucky, I can actually get around the border, and it looks as though we might be able to do that. Okay, we kind of got this. It will be an enormous base, actually. And now we just need to include enough of this second biome. There we go. Okay, we need to check this out. Should we confirm this? I mean, this is enormous. I'm not too happy with this shape, to be honest with you. But it's gonna have to be something like that. You know what? Let me cancel that. And I'm gonna take myself a little bit more time to plan this properly. This is gonna be our final base, so this needs to work out. Alright guys, we cannot do it extremely beautiful, but I think I at least have what I wanted to have. We have a public area right here where I'm gonna have my shops. This is also on the pathway so people can just walk conveniently through and exit here again. Then we have the private area right here and this is going to be the guarded area. Nobody's gonna be allowed in here other than my squads, of course. And in here we have plenty of room to do our things. Now I just need to check. Can I still get the good crop yield? 
Look at how close we are to the village. I didn't even realize that was a village. Yeah, let's freaking do it. Let's confirm this. Holy Moses. Oh, Nathan, you're gonna have so, so much to do. So, Nathan, grab a couple of building materials and... Wait, wait, wait. Start right here. Good. Well, I guess I'm gonna be right back once we have made some progress. Hold the phone. That's that's not good. That's not good. Packy, bully, get out of sneak mode. We have a bone dog problem. <laughs> Nathan, uh, run away a little bit and then attack. There you go. Bone dogs. I'm not sure if Kung Fu is gonna help. Well, actually, 124 <laughs> damage is not bad. Gosh, freaking bone dogs. Look how much damage they did. Don't believe it. I just want to build my wall here. Oh yeah, we're of course also gonna have different wildlife here, which is good. I'm pretty sick of the raptors and their foul meat. A big thing. And it is very close. We might have to deal with that one. Let me show you how far I came. I'm gonna show you in the daytime too, but... There it is. A beautiful wall. Almost done. However, the big things are gonna be a problem. And look at these plants. They almost look like big things. Or are they? Yeah, they, they are. They are sleeping or something. Oh no. <laughs> we can't do that without our warriors. We will have to eradicate them, I guess. Beacon things attacking me is not good. However, they do have a very long attack animation. So let's grab all of our guys and try to run away again. And hopefully they're gonna give up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They are much faster than I am. That is bad. Let's see. Uh, we still have uh, some building materials. I was able to use most of it, as you can see. We just have a bunch left in Paki. And the wall is almost completed to the point where it's secure for the private sector. However, these things chasing us does pose a slight issue. Paki and Bully are probably safe, but I might have to do some trickery with Nathan. Yeah, look at that. They are kind of trying to coordinate their attacks, but the animation is very, very long. That's definitely not good. <laughs> Jesus. Can we maybe make it to the village? I mean, we should be safe inside, right? I assume they don't come inside. Nathan, no. Oh my god! No! <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, they don't fit in here, right? If we just make it right there. Um, okay, avoid this one. Go over here and... <laughs> hey guys, I have a little surprise! Oh, there we go. Okay, they are helping. Oh my gosh, Nathan, uh, don't go out just yet. Just wait, wait a little bit here. Let the high villagers do a little bit of damage before. Okay, we might actually be able to do this. I'm just gonna try to get in a kick or two. Nathan, get out of the way! Okay, you have to kick this guy. Uh, but kick him from behind. Don't go into the attack animation. Okay, we got one down. Now this guy's coming for us. The villagers are... Oh, they're actually doing well. Look at that, they have 53 attack. Holy Moses. Let's actually loot one of those. I want to know... Ooh, six animal skins and both types of meat. That's pretty good. Uh, look at how many hive villagers are actually chipping in. Maybe we don't even have to bring our warriors. Eventually, we're going to bring all of our people, of course. Good. Paki and Bully are here. Time to loot. There we go. That's what I call loot. And now probably we should be free to build again because the nest should be more or less eradicated. But first for some first aid. And these high villagers are actually pretty funny. They seem to be happy people. Yes, finally, nest of big things has been wiped out. Ugh, this took me like half an hour since I talked to you last. But I had to run back and forth from the village. And now I'm being followed by a gorilla. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're gonna make our way back to the Hive Village and uh, we're gonna try to avoid this guy. But I, I don't wanna mess with him. He looks like he wanna eat me. Uh, here are all the Hive people. Come on, guys, help me out here. Give me a little hand. Oh, do you not see him? Ah, there we go. Wow, that is a sick creature. I have to give it to them. But yeah, I hope it's the last interruption. I just wanna see what types of loot we get from that. It's good to know that we have this hive village here, even though, you know, in the end, we, we should be able to defend ourselves. He's he's attacking Bully. What? Why, why would you do that? And Paki, why are you not attacking back? Good. He's finally down, and we only get six hides. That's a little bit disappointing. 
And believe it or not, we were almost able to complete it. This is the only thing we still have to complete. The other stuff is the public part and doesn't hurry quite as much. I'm just wondering what I still want to do in today's episode and I guess we will figure that out in just a minute. Let me first of all travel back. That's one thing we have to do for sure right now. And I'm just glad we survived this. Okay guys, I was full of enthusiasm today and trust in the release version of Kenji. Well, something I figured out is you actually first have to place a house. Something that actually makes your outpost. And after that, you build the walls. Because all of these walls have been built before a house. I actually don't own them. No, I'm not kidding. Look at that. This part of the base belongs to the rebel base. Then this part of the wall belongs to the hive village. Up here, these walls also belong to the hive village. I cannot even dismantle them anymore. So, yeah, lesson learned. <laughs> what I have to do now is I have to essentially remove these walls using the editor. If you hit Shift F12 by default, you're taking a screenshot, but also you're entering this weird developer menu. All you want to do is click a wall and hit the delete button and, and there it goes. Now, once you're done with that, you should also hit Control shift f 11 and this is going to fix the nav mesh for the terrain. Alright, there we go. It is very much later. I hope you appreciate my effort in this episode. But I ended up removing everything, losing all the materials and rebuilding the entire structure. But now it actually belongs to us. So I think once we have built a couple more things, we should be ready to move the base. One stone after another. I'm probably also gonna end up removing all the walls and hopefully getting also some more building materials. But yeah, essentially we can get rid of this part of the wall. We will also be getting rid of this building and slowly but surely the space is gonna disappear. All right, here we are, full of building materials. We have Packy fully packed and Bully fully packed. That means, Nathan, you will go yet on another trip. Ah, there she is, the beauty, the great wall, all completed for your pleasure. As you can see, I've now also done the outside and we have a gate right here to enter right here as well as down into the other direction. This gate right here is set to private and this is my entire area that I can utilize. I already started building uh, two buildings. One building is actually for my excess material. So everything I store in here is because I have too much of it. Then we have a building outside just next to the pathway, which is going to be my store and maybe in. I also intend to populate this area a lot more with housings and just overall see what we can do in terms of decorations. If we have a brief look into this building, we can see I already prepared the storages for some grogs and other alcohol beverages, a weapon stand, some armor stand, also a general storage box for everything else that we cannot really categorize, and of course the fuel, which we produce way too much of. Okay, now it's time for some building planning. We need to find the perfect spot for our farms. Okay, so right here seems to be a division line. I want to rotate this slightly and keep it in the 100% range. Now, could we do this even closer to the wall? Okay, this is the very edge. I'm gonna place my cactus farm here. Should we have multiple farms? I think so. We're gonna start with two for each type. Good, next up we have Cotton XL. We need 60 cotton for that. Maybe that is not a good idea. Let's start with Medium, 25. So we need to bring 50 cotton with us. That is possible. In the arid area, it's only 10%, but here it's 46%. Not quite as good as we're used to, but we're also building two of them. And also we have the Hemp, which basically does the same thing. Speaking of hemp, we need two fields, one here and one there. Next up we have our veggies and I already know I'm gonna need three of those. Three. Perfect. Oh man, this is gonna be a nightmare if those plants don't disappear. Well, last but not least we need our wheat fields, so let's try to place... Oh, come on. Can I not do it here? Ah, there we go. Okay, it, it somehow works. Beautiful. Now, as for the wealth, this only really works in this baum here. I believe we should get, yeah, 0%, but there's still 60% here. This is kind of a weird division. 
But yeah, I guess we want to have at least one well nearby the fields. That should make sense. And then maybe we're going to have a second one now that we are going a lot bigger. The water tank itself is going to be in a building and so is the entire storage. So what I need now is a big, big storehouse. Station house. This is quite big. That's what I already built, actually. A watchtower would be incredible, but this is agonizing because you have to go through all of the floors. Maybe the step house is going to be the appropriate thing to store our stuff in. I want this to be very central, so this should be approximately here. Uh, I much rather have it snuggled against the hill. Maybe something like that. Yes, yeah, that is much better. Confirm everything. Okay, Nathan, now you have a lot to do, right? We don't have the farm stuff just yet. We could potentially do... Yeah, we can do the well. So I guess I'm just gonna trade with Bully here. I'm gonna grab a couple of those and a couple of those. Nathan, do your thing. Ah, we're going for the big house, which requires 30 building materials. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just saying. Happy New Year, by the way. I totally forgot. Hope you had a good one. Whoop, we have a couple of bandits. They should actually not be a problem for our team. Nathan, wait, wait. Protect allies. Come here. Do some kung fu. Oh, actually, the bulls got everything under control. Maybe we don't even have to stop building for these guys. Oh, ooh, there are actually plenty of them. I don't have any food. Jeez, they, they never learn their lesson. Did you see that kick? <laughs> I love the martial arts. Somehow makes me happy. Dude, where do you think you're going? Bully, can you take care of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, there she is. The beauty! Our storage facility. Now, where the heck are you going? What, what, hold, ah, okay, you're building the well. You're allowed to do that. Good, that's what I'm talking about. Plenty of space in here. It's time to set up a couple of storage chests. Now, I probably want to categorize my stuff a little bit. Let's maybe start with the food over here. Et voila, we have the cactus storage, then green fruit, wheat straw, we have some hemp, we have the meat right here. I left some space in the hopes that the rice also takes a barrel, but I could be wrong. We also have the cotton, just because it's a farm produce. In the back right here, I want to do the mining stuff. So the raw ore, but also the plates and potentially building materials. Okay, I think I placed every last storage there is, except for the shop counter and the alcohol barrels. We're just gonna sell the alcohol, right? But everything we store in here, we kind of want to use for our base somehow. So I put the fuel tank on the top here, even though it's gonna be a lot of running around for my people. I just figured it would also look nice, and, and Zero is kind of used to running around. Then down here, we have plenty of things, as you can see. We have all of our mining stuff right here, including everything. I don't even know. Uh, we have two small chests because I didn't know how to categorize them. I think they are the fabrics and maybe the, the robotics. Then we have the food barrel. We have the bread basket here. We have our animal skins and the flower, I believe that is. We also have the medicrate. And that's about it. All of the storages we currently can build. So let's confirm this. And I guess Nathan can go to town. What I now mostly need is probably some iron plates. But let's take building materials as well. Good. Good luck, Nathan. Good luck. Let's actually see. Engineering skill almost at 80. Still, it does take a long time to get to 100. Finally, my storage is completed. Everything material-wise right here. Everything weapon-wise on the top. We might still want to add a normal chest, thinking about it, but for the time being, I'm happy we delivered all the items automatically to the corresponding chests. Now, other things we're gonna need, let me think. I probably want to install a wind generator somewhere. I mean, one or two right here on the top might make for a good look. They require some copper, I do not have that with me, but we're still gonna confirm. Let me think, what else? Maybe a small building where my guys can train up. This could be right here. And now I really desperately hope this tree is gonna disappear. Uh, maybe like that. Perfect. I like that. Let's also confirm that and let Nathan build whatever he can already. Oh no! Are you serious? Dude, okay. Well, that that is kind of interesting. Maybe we have to save this and uh, load it again. Oh no, we're screwed. 
It doesn't disappear. I don't believe this. Well, okay, I guess for now we're gonna have these trees in the way. Maybe they disappear once we unload the area. That could be. So I think that is the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna make our way back and then we probably can pack our things and come here. But yeah, I guess at this point we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time. Happy New Year and see you soon. Bye-bye.